All right, so I just woke up a little while ago, but I'm gonna get ready for the Creme Shops Lunar New Year event. Uh, they invited me and I'm bringing Leslie with me and we're gonna go head out and do that. I got my outfit on, but I'm gonna, I gotta do my makeup and my hair. So I thought it'd be kind of fun if we did a little of that together. Look at all this creme shop stuff I have already. So this is, I think, the third creme shop event I'm going to. Um, last time I went, this one was really cute. This was a Hello Kitty skincare line that they launched and I had a really fun time at this one, actually. I also really love the products that they gave me. I'm doing my foundation now. In high school, I used to watch a movie every single day because I feel like it made me feel a little more productive. So I've been trying to do that again. And But the best way to go about it at least for me, is that what you do is you like kind of pick a random actor and then you go through their entire filmography and then you just like watch everything they've been in. I did that completely with Liam Aiken, which I don't know if you guys remember that guy, but he was the kid from a series of unfortunate events. As a child, I had a really big crush on him. So I was like, oh, I should see what else he's up to, like what else he did. So that led me down a really interesting road. A film I really like he did with Electric Children. I really liked that movie. Um, it's super like 2014 Tumblr. But I love it. It's like such a time capsule for like Tumblr hipster era. <laughs> oh, I love this blush. It's a cream blush by Rare Beauty. Um, I have to stay in my girl Selena Gomez. I love her dearly, so of course I have to go and get her stuff. I also have a highlighter from Rare Beauty that I absolutely adore. I'm, I've never been crazy on blushes, but I also just like the case it comes in. It looks like a little... I don't know, it's just like a little pill thing. It's cute. I think it's a cute little case that I really, really like. Honestly, have you guys seen Selena Gomez and Only Murders in the Building? Um, if you haven't watched Only Murders in the Building, go watch it, please. Actually, I don't know if it's everyone's cup of tea. It was my cup of tea because it has one of my favorite actors of all time in it, Martin Short, who, if you don't remember, plays Preminger in the Barbie movies. And he also plays the best Jack Frost that's ever existed um, in the Tim Allen movies, Santa Claus 3. So, like, if you haven't seen any of this stuff... Go watch Only Murders in the Building or watch The Three Fugitives. I love that movie. Three Fugitives is like Spike's family before Spike's family happened. Maybe just like go watch it, you know? Like maybe go, maybe go do that. Sorry, I, all I'm doing is like recommending you guys stuff to watch. So I used to have this white eyeliner that I used under in my lash line hair that I used for everything. Fun fact, it is broken and I've been using this little tiny piece to do my waterline. I want this jade green color like that's what I'm gonna go for for my eyes I'm taking this green shimmer here and I'm just gonna like mix them together okay would it be crazy if I did red eyeliner I don't know how I feel about this um, I'm gonna do my lipstick and then I'll see what's you know and then, then I gotta do my hair so we'll see okay I'm gonna do my hair now which um, it's gonna take me a little while, so I'm gonna go do my hair, and I'll see you guys afterwards. We are on our way, which is why we stopped at Carl's Jr. <laughs> I have to I'm trying to zoom on on the sponge little guy. Nobody has a sponge. I can't see it. His pants are up so high, it looks like he's got a wedgie. It looks like you wedgied him. He just likes it like that. <laughs> They gave us. Oh my god, this is so cute. What? Okay. Tabitha. Very nice. <laughs> oh, look at this. Wow, 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 wow. Hi, guys. Oh my god. I was vlogging. You want to say hi? Vlogging, hi. I'm vlogging now. Hi. <laughs> Yo, no Stars way. Of Stars of the show. Whoa. 
voice over Evelyn here to talk a little bit about the event because I didn't get that much footage while I was here. Um, we didn't even get to take pictures with my Melody and Hello Kitty, but we did use that backdrop to take some pretty photos. Hello! Oh, focus. Um, should we spin the wheel? Literally. Yeah, spin the wheel with the calendar. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm just for you. Yeah. We're gonna spin the wheel. Thank you. Thank you. Came with me. Yeah. Oh, that is so cute. The prize wheel outside was pretty fun because you can win a bunch of stuff. I really wanted that perfect plush one because I'm pretty sure it was like a plush Hello Kitty headband. Um, but yeah, we did not win that. We got the same thing! <laughs> we doubled up, dude. We got the same thing. Wait, wait, wait. Put it away. This is what we got. Why is the camera like not focused? It's not one, it is one of the all right, should we go over there where like the fire is? <laughs> yeah. Oh, is there over here? It's real. It's real. It's real. This isn't the set. Okay. <laughs> it is. It is a real fire. <laughs> is that it? We did. We're here. So we then headed inside the little night market, which this wasn't actually like a real night market. It was more of like a role play night market. They gave you fun little like fake Hello Kitty money and you can use that fake money to buy items inside this little night market, which was really cute. <laughs> So here's everything inside. I really like the little booths that they have set up and the lanterns and lights were really pretty. So this event was for the launch of the Creme Shops collab with Hello Kitty and Friends. It was an entire collection that was Lunar New Year themed. So if you did want to get these, here are the prices of the actual products that you can get in stores. Shopping. <laughs> yeah, count those dollars. Count your stacks. 17, 18, 19, 20. We then started spending our little Hello Kitty money, which I didn't spend all of it. I actually kept a couple dollars because they were really cute. Um, but yeah, I was able to get one of everything from the collection, which I was really excited for. I really wanted that brush set. And then I got the nail kit for my sister because she's been really into doing nails and like gel nails. So I thought it would be cute for her. Um, how much is the palette? This one is three dollars. Okay, and then the this set as well. Three dollars. Yeah, so as these well. are three, and then oh, is this a nail set? Mm -hmm. So it has fifty decals. Uh huh. Hello Kitty decals, and then the clear nail polish has calcium and vitamin E. Thank you. You're welcome. Tell me how much is for the palette and the brushes. So this one's gonna be three, and this one's three as well. So six. After we shopped around and had some ice cream, we found a little Korean corn dog stand, which was really cool. Um, and all the food was free, so that was really nice. And I did the genius thing of ordering um, the corn dog that was just filled with cheese. And it's great because I'm lactose intolerant, so you know I'm really smart about my food choices. Okay, ready? And go for it! So after catching up with some friends and just having a good time, uh, we decided to go home that night and do what we usually do at the end of these events, which is go to McDonald's and order frozen Cokes. Frozen Coke? Yeah. Yes. I think we even, we even have a blue one. A 
just, or do you still want the large, two large Cokes? Just the two large Cokes. Yeah, just the two large Cokes. Okay, and then what else? Uh, that'll be it. Okay. It's gonna be six fifty. best part of the night we got our frozen cokes and we just all right so after mcdonald's we headed back to leslie's house and i would be hard pressed to not show off leslie's room because she's also a toy collector so her room is also decked out so i'm just gonna let her room speak for itself So this was about a week later and I went over to my first ever modeling gig. So this was for the company Nothing Gold. They're a clothing company that I really, really like and I got to model some of their clothes. So if you're wondering why it's censored, it's because these clothes haven't been launched yet. So if you want to keep up and see what they're doing, I suggest just following their Instagram. If you know me personally, I really love this brand. I own a Astro Boy hat from them, which I absolutely adore and I wear literally every single day. But um, yeah, this brand's cool. They work with official licenses, which I really like. So this is like official merchandise. It was really nice to meet the Nothing Gold team in person. They're really passionate and genuine about how they make their clothes, so it was so fun to just model stuff for them. Honestly, I had a lot of- I had way more fun than I was expecting. Well, it seems like I forgot to film an outro as per usual these days, but <laughs> I guess that's it. This was more of like a, just a simple little, little vlog, a filler episode, if you will. But I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, on that note, go check out my Instagram. I just made a post for Elijah Wood's birthday, so you want to see that. Um, and I also am an artist, which... I tend to forget sometimes. But yeah, I have that. Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. So I hope you guys have like a great day and follow your dreams. <laughs>